This video shows how to manage user accounts in Windows 8. With user accounts, you can save personal settings, share your computer with other users, and manage access to applications, the internet, and more. When you first set up your computer, you will be asked to create an administrator account. The administrator has the highest level of control of the operating system, specifically to change system-wide settings, create additional accounts, set privileges, and change passwords for standard user accounts. In Windows 8, you can use a Microsoft account as your login, letting you access your personal settings from any Windows 8 device. With the Microsoft account, you can also download apps from the Windows Store and use cloud storage with the SkyDrive application. To add a Microsoft account, make sure that you have an active internet connection and sign in as an administrator. From the start screen, move your mouse cursor to the lower right corner of the screen to open the Charms menu. Click Settings, then Change PC Settings. Select Users, then click Add a User. If you already have an email account, you can use it for your Microsoft account. You are not required to use a Microsoft email address, such as Hotmail or Live. You can also create a new email account with Microsoft or create a local account. In this example, we will use a Microsoft email account. A new account has been created. You can now choose Sync Your Settings from the PC Settings screen and select which items you would like to access from another Windows 8 device such as Browser History and Favorites. If you later decide you want to log in with a different account, you can change the account type from the User section in PC Settings. If you want to allow someone to use your computer but limit their access, you can control their access to specific programs and websites. To set privileges for an account, log on as an administrator and follow these steps. From the Start screen, type Control Panel, and then select Control Panel from the results. Click Set up Family Safety for any user. Select the user account you wish to manage. From this window, you can manage user settings for this account, such as web filtering, time limits, Windows Store and game restrictions, and app restrictions. Suppose you have visitors who occasionally need access to your computer but don't need a personal account. The guest account can be used to allow multiple people quick but limited access to the same computer through one account. Use the following steps to enable the guest account. From the Start screen, type Control Panel and then select Control Panel. Select User Accounts and Family Safety. Click User Accounts, then Manage Another Account. From the Manage Accounts screen, select the Guest Account. Click Turn On. The Guest Account is now enabled and appears as a selection from the main login page. If you want to change your password, perform the following steps. Press the Control, Alt, and Delete keys at the same time on the keyboard. Click Change a Password. Type the current password, the new password, and then the new password again. To confirm, click the right arrow next to Confirm Password. 
When you create an account, you should also create a password reset disk that can be used to recover a forgotten password. This procedure requires removable storage media. Common types of storage media are USB storage devices and flash memory cards. Writable CDs and DVDs are not supported. You only need to create one password reset disk per account. No matter how many times you change your password, this disk will always allow you to create a new one. First, insert the storage media into the PC. Next, press the Control, Alt, and Delete keys at the same time on the keyboard. Click Change a Password, and then click Create a Password Reset Disk. The Forgotten Password Wizard opens. Click Next and follow the on-screen instructions. If you forget your password and you have created a password reset disk, you can use the information on the disk to reset the password. Log in to the computer. If you entered a wrong password, you see a message. The password is incorrect. Try again. Click the OK button below the message. A new login screen appears. Click Reset Password. The Welcome to the Password Reset Wizard window opens. Click Next. Select the drive location for the password key disk and click Next. Enter the password information. Click Next and then click Finish. The password is reset. As an administrator, you can reset the password of any local user's account. Caution! If you use an administrator account to reset a password, you may permanently lose access to any encrypted emails or files associated with that account. Log in to an administrator account. From the Start screen, type Control Panel and then click Control Panel. Under User Accounts and Family Safety, click User Accounts and then click Manage Another Account. Click the account you need to change. Click Change the Password. Type the new password and then type the password again to confirm. Click Change Password. Restart the computer. Remember to always write down your password and store it in a secure location where it can be retrieved as needed. Thank you for viewing this video. For more help, go to hp.com support.